Hello everyone, this is Darling Tarot Heart and today we are doing a pick a card reading all about money. Uh, when is money coming? What is happening with money? Uh, should I go and invest on something in order to get money? This is all about money. This is a money reading. I am very excited to do this reading today. I feel uh, like it was a long overdue. I don't even remember the last time I did a finances or money reading. Um, and then, yeah, this is a video not only about the money you are receiving from your job or your... Um, like your monthly uh, income it could be about magic money also money that you are manifesting and they are coming out of nowhere it could be about investing money in your new business and receiving more money from that this is could this is a reading about where is the money and how is money uh attracting um how is money attracted to your energy and how you can receive more of it uh, i'm so excited for this reading i am somebody who really works their hardest in order to uh get money because i'm someone also who cannot really find a normal job so this is why i am investing my time and my money on this youtube channel in order to make things happen for myself i am someone who is also very brave uh, with their money and what they are investing in so yeah anyway this is not about me this is about you and where is your money and how is it going to come for you so you can prepare yourself for it to come and make the space in your life to uh, receive this money and have a better mindset towards money so yeah that is everything we're doing today these are the piles today i am using the stoic tarot it is the one i have created with oblivious me i have a link down below uh, with the code for five percent of your purchase the code is ace of cross so that is uh all from uh that little um spawn over here so yeah this is pile number one with this specific coin this is pile number two with uh the donut coin as i like to call it and this is pile number three with the biggest coin of the piles so yeah feel free to pause this video and meditate a little bit to figure out which pile has the right message for you you can always come back to this part of the video if something that really resonate to you it's totally fine just come back to this part of the video and pick another pile and go to the corresponding time stamp from the description box down below to get to your message a little bit faster and without further ado let's see where the money is Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number one with this specific coin. Let's see where the money is for you. Oh my god, right from the bat we have the king of cups. So the money for you is, it feels like they are, um, the money is invested in a person. Maybe you are this specific person or this specific person has a lot to do with your money. What does that mean? Uh, the King of Cups is a person. Figure cards in tarot correspond to actual people in our lives. And the King of Cups is more of a masculine kind of energy since it is a king. Uh, though it doesn't really matter what the gender of uh, the person is. But in any case, this corresponds to someone who is uh, older than you. Or again, it could be you. Uh, because the Cups correspond to the water element. And the water element is... Uh, you know about our feelings our emotions and how we say how we choose to uh, what we choose to do with our feelings uh, also it is about the water zodiac sign so Scorpio Cancer and Pisces so again this might be you also if uh, your zodiac signs are uh, if your zodiac sign is uh, Pisces Cancer or Scorpio like I said uh, but again, it could be someone around you, someone who you work with, someone uh, maybe like your boss or something. It could be um, this person. It just feels that there is a person who um, has the money for you or they give you money in order for you to live, you know. It could be something like the system or something. Um, though, how can that be the system? Because this is the king of cups. The cups is more about emotion. It does not really correspond respond to you know the system the society how society works and stuff that would be more of a king of um swords energy uh because it's more about systems and communication and stuff but in any case uh all in all this first card corresponds to the fact that the money has a lot to do with a person in your life. It can be you or it could be someone who is close to you. Maybe they work for you or you work for this person. And um, 
again, their personality feels like they are soft, they are dreamy, they, um, they share their emotions, they are very empathetic towards you. It feels like they know how to navigate life using their emotions as a guide and not as a way that they need to fight their emotions in order to get something um you know out of life so again this uh, feels so good so right from the bat we have a very positive card it feels like money is coming money is coming to you like a river life uh, money is flowing into your life this king of cups energy is very flowy and Again, it feels like it comes from someone who cares about you. Let's get more cards in order to see what else we have for this reading. We have the Magician card. Uh, it is card number one from the Major Arcana suit. Um, the Magician is one of my favorites uh, because, again, it is the first card of the Minor Arcana cards. The Magician lets me know that you have all the right skills, all the right tools. You are at the right place at the right time um, in order to work and manifest more money. You are disciplined. You know where the money should go. You have all the right people who give you good advice in order to help you what to do with your money. Um, I feel like uh, the way for you, I feel like the way for you to make more money is not only using manifestation, but also using like your social circle, if you know what I mean. If you have troubles around money these days, I feel like you should be open about it. Maybe you can uh, communicate with your friends or close family members. Uh, and I feel like this is the way that you can manifest maybe more clients or more work. Social media is something that is... Uh, quite resonating with this reading also because again we have the magician the magician is someone who is um and a king of course is someone who is a leader someone who can take the initiative someone who can make uh the first move so i feel like you should use these skills uh, especially maybe if you are a cancer zodiac sign i feel like you should take the initiative and start something this is what i'm getting especially with the number one of the magician card uh it's literally number one you are the first you are the first who should uh, make the first move you should be the one who makes the first move towards your goal because how else can a goal uh, be achieved if you don't make the first move towards it it's literally you wanting something you want to make more money you're watching this video because you want to know where the money is right so i feel like you should invest in yourself and your knowledge the magician is someone who uh, uses their knowledge and uses their education in order to make things happen but also take the initiative the money is not gonna come just magically out of nowhere i mean it can you know i believe in that i believe in uh you know, the universe conspiring in order to give you what you want. And if you are someone who believes in the law of assumption and uh, you just believe that things are just uh, written in the stars for you to be done and you believe that it is already done, then it is done. And so it is. Uh, but also I am someone who believes that work and taking the initiative and making the first move is something that will help you so much, especially if you're somebody who has been told their whole life that you are indecisive. I feel like a good piece of advice that you should know is that taking the initiative is not only uh, giving you the satisfaction afterwards that you were the first to do like the, the first move, uh, but also it feels very rewarding in the end. Let's get more cards. Uh, also, the Magician card again is a major arcana card. It corresponds to a big event. I feel like you should take the initiative. I feel like you should make the first move. You know your worth. You know how much uh, money could help you right now in your situation. And I feel like you're someone who has great imagination. I feel like your mind is so bright. Your mind is worth millions here i feel like your man your your brain is worth millions affirm it to yourself and believe me bright ideas on how you can manifest more money is just gonna come to you 
it is that easy because your mind is clear the goal is real if you want to manifest 1000 money by the end of the week believe me the universe will provide for you ways that you can do that but you should always make the initiative you should always make the first move let's get more cards let's get more cards some of them are flipped i don't know why <laughs> sometimes i just get the cards and this deck is kind of big but <laughs> let's put them back and i have one more card here it is uh, yeah, we have the hanged man. It feels like you have lost track of things. It felt like you were, um, you didn't really know if you were at the right place at the right time. This is more of the past kind of energy. I'm not sure if I said that already. Uh, the hanged man is um, nor here nor there. It feels like you know what the goal is, but it just feels like that it is not the right time for you. You don't have the right uh, circumstances. You have not met the right people. You do not have the space in order to do the things that you want. Um, it feels like you are using excuses or it feels like you are literally in the wrong place at the wrong time and this is not happening for you so you are kind of the victim of your own situation um but don't worry the hung man is just there to remind us that we need some kind of change of perspective it is not a bad card it just means that you um feel trapped in your situation you feel like you cannot take the initiative it feels like you just need some time it is not again a bad card it is all about perspective here it is all about you taking some time in order to feel um where the right path is in order for you to take some time off maybe take some time just for yourself in order to revalue and refocus uh, on your goal if you have trouble finding what should your focus be my literal previous video uh, that i have uploaded from this one is the what should you focus on right now uh feel free to go and watch that if you feel like you do not really know what should you do uh, around this time uh because you feel like uh you have too many responsibilities uh the hangman can also mean that uh, it can mean that you have too many responsibilities uh you have to take care of yourself you have to take care of uh like people around you maybe your mother or your father you know parents uh uh, as they grow up, we grow up with them, and at times it could be uh, it can be quite tiring to take care of them, but that does not mean that there is not uh, that does not mean that there is not love and or that is uh, yeah, that your goals are not valid anymore. Uh, it just needs uh, it just means that you need to find some kind of balance in order to make all these things work out for you so let's move on to more future energies let's go get the prediction part of the video right now um let's see what is going to happen in the future let's see what is there for you i feel like again we already have a, an idea over here with um like the king of cups which uh again i said that it means that there is someone um who has an idea for you or someone who wants to give you more money uh than you have asked and again it feels like it is a person uh the money for you means um that someone is important here uh anyway back to oh i think i have let's fix my camera a little bit sorry for that <laughs> um anyway we have the seven of coins the seven of pentacles this is beautiful i really really like this card um i think i already said that uh sometimes not only we need to make the first move towards our goal towards our money goal towards whatever goal we um have decided for ourselves we also need to work for that we also need to be disciplined about it we need to build a routine around this goal um because this is the fastest the fastest way that it can manifest because we put effort and time and um literally effort time and practice is what makes perfect so 
with the seven of coins, this is literally it. I feel like you are on the right path for this goal. You are on the right path for this goal. It feels like it is meant for you. Money is coming your way. Money is coming the way. Money is flowing into your life. I think that your mindset had some kind of troubles in the past with the hanged man, but it just needs some change of perspective and it needs some kind of change of identity, not change your identity like um, I'm going to be mean from now on uh, because mean people get money. No, this is not it. Um, money is coming to you the way it be, you believe it may come. If you believe that money comes only from your uh, job, from your salary, then this is how money is going to come into your life only. But money, uh, but you know, uh, the universe is abundant and the universe is full of money and the universe wants to provide money from you. So if you do, if you just could change this perspective of yours, if you could just shift your mindset a little bit and believe that you are the only one that uh, deserves this uh, money love from the universe. Believe me, the universe will provide you so with so much ideas about how you can get more money. This is just how it happens. But you also need to make the initiative. I'm saying, I think I'm repeating myself here, but this is how the cards come out. You need to take the initiative. You need to believe that the money is coming towards you like water and you need to make a routine around money, the money that you want to manifest. You need to uh, not only believe, but you also need to work for it. Uh, the seven of coins corresponds to work, but it also corresponds to uh, you getting the fruits of your labor. So it really is all about discipline and building a routine around it. Uh, and money will magically flow into your life because not only you have put uh, effort towards it, you have also put time. And I feel like, um, I, I don't think I've said this, uh, but money for you could also come from another source, not only just your salary or your everyday, uh, your, you know, your, the normal uh, job. Because the King of Cups corresponds to someone who is dreamy, someone who is very artistic. So again, it is um, something that you really want to do. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe you are an artist and you want to sell your art. You want to sell postcards. You want to sell artworks. And you just lack this initiative. There are so many galleries that you could just uh, pay a little bit of rent. And so like the, uh, your artwork there for a month or two months or however long the gallery wants and provides the space for ideas are going to come to you. Um, and I feel again with the King of Cups, you have an artistic idea and I feel like you can, um, provide so much art in this world. This could be anything. It could be music. It could be. Uh, like your knitting projects, you could create something so big for yourself. And um, I mean, it is, it could be hard sometimes you want, you know, you want to build some kind of business around your art and maybe there are zero sales. But the thing is, um, the more you show you your art, the more you show that you have these products in your shop, um, the more you advertise it, uh, the more possibilities are out there for you to make this um, new business happen for you. So again, it feels like there is some artistic thing uh, for you here. I feel like the money for you uh, will come uh, because of your artistic talents and how big your imagination is. And it is just a matter of advertising and, um, you know, trying things out. Because with the Magician card, I'm always getting this sense that you, that like, just like a magician, just like a scientist, um, there are always trials and errors when it comes to experiments and stuff, but you don't do the experiment 
with the same ingredients and expecting a different result. The ingredients must be different each time in order to see where the experiment is going to go and you will find out what is working for you. Believe me, there are people who have the like like half the talent than you and they are just very big out there and believe me you can do this you can absolutely do this let's get one more card to see uh like the outcome of the reading let's see oh more pentacles money is coming for you guys money is just flowing 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 into your life are you even ready for so much money guys you are so so damn lucky so guys you are the luckiest pile like literally can i even explain to you how much good you are going to make your life look like if you just take the initiative if you can just follow your gut feeling this king of cups energy if you take this personality of the king of cups and impersonated in your life you are going to manifest so much money we have the nine of coins as an outcome of this reading the nine the number nine in tarot corresponds to um having it all having it all feeling satisfied with yourself feeling satisfied with your goals feeling satisfied and feeling like you have achieved your goals having everything that you have desired being able to provide for yourself and live a good life so what is stopping you nothing nothing can stop you from achieving this money goal you have set it for yourself in your mind you have already achieved this goal in your mind you are already rich so start acting like you are rich because more money is coming to you this way more money is happening for you there is so much growth in your bank account there is so much growth in your personality as well because look how you started as this hanged man and look how you're moving towards wealth and abundance you have it all you have more than enough money see how this figure only is able to hold two coins but they have even more behind them there is so much more money is going to overflow in your life it's going to overflow from your pockets it is going to overflow from your bank account you will not even know what to do with all this money it is going to be physically impossible to spend all the money that you're going to manifest you are such a strong manifestor you are uh, i feel literally like your mind is so strong i feel like a healthy mindset and taking the initiative building a routine around this uh, money goal and being disciplined towards it for example if you have a money goal that you want to um i don't know always be able to get your nails done for example um then believe me it will uh life will always find a way for you to always have a, the money to do your nails this is literally how it happens my best friend does this all the fucking time literally i don't know how she does it i could never be someone who spends as much money as she does uh, for nails but she always finds the money to do it i don't know how she is doing it but she is doing it so can you believe me the, it is it doesn't matter how much money you have in your pocket there is always going uh, life is always going to find a way to give you money to get your freaking nails done and this is just how life is supposed to be some things just uh just naturally come to you because it is aligned with your personality it is aligned with what you believe about money so i really believe that setting a specific goal is going to help you so much um but there is also go it's going to require you some kind of trial and error i feel like you are kind of around here this is the main card and this is more of past energy but i feel like you are almost here the reason you're watching this video is because uh you have set it a goal for yourself and you want to just know what happens next and what happens next is you being disciplined disciplined around this goal and getting there and simply as that you are getting there this nine of coins energy 
is you feeling satisfied with your money goal. It is about you feeling um, connected to the money you make and you feeling so good even about spending this money. It feels so good. It's so satisfying to spend your own money because you know that every penny that you spend is going to come to you tenfold. As easy as that, because this is what money is. Money is not good or bad. Money is just energy and money is abundant in this life. And money can come to you as much as you uh, like give to other people your money. So much money can just come to you because other people want to shower you with gifts and money. As simply as that statement, like... If other people can do it, so can you. It is so damn easy. I feel like you are on the verge of something. You want to start something new, some kind of creative project, and it is going to make you so much money as a side hustle. It can make me, it, I feel like it can overtake your life. You will make so much money. You will make so much more money than your everyday normal job, than your salary. So you're going to invest your time and your energy in this side hustle, which will become your life. So, I mean, wake up. It is right here. It is set in stone. It is written in the stars for you to experience this nine of coins, this nine of wealth, nine of wealth. You are there. The number nine is about you receiving this manifestation, having enough to support yourself. And what is num uh, after nine? It is the number 10. The number 10 is going to be the number of like you having access, you having uh, more than you need in order to support your family as well. It is just one step further. But what you need to know right now is that you will make so much money that you can support yourself and i feel like that is all the messages i have for you today thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below if this message resonated to you let me know if you have questions if you have ideas for future videos follow me on my social media i have an instagram and a tiktok account of course subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you know when i post a new video which is every wednesday and saturday and yeah that is all for me let's move on to pile number two Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number two with the donut coin. Let's see where the money is for you. Oh my God. We have the Ace of Wands. I mean, do I even need to do the rest of the reading? Um, we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is the most beautiful energy um, because the wands correspond to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, fire energy the fire element the fire element is all about passion drive and motivation uh, chasing your dreams changing the flame chasing the flame inside of you and literally taking action it is time to take action it is time to make things happen the aces and uh, the ace and all aces in tarot correspond to a new beginning but also with the ace of wands is about taking the initiative making things happen for you the ace of wands is literally the card that is one message new beginning towards like an action towards something you have been dreaming something that gave you drive and motivation you are actually going after it you are ready you are on the right path to go after this dream you are so 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 ready what are you why are you um, wasting time watching tarot videos i don't know but here you are because you need to listen to this message and this message is a message of drive and motivation i am going to give you drive and motivation after you watch this video to go after your dreams, to chase your dreams because you have you feel it in your gut already that you need to take the action. You need to make the idea happen because it will make you so good and rich. Why? Literally, why are you wasting your time watching this video? I don't know. I don't feel like my videos are a waste of time. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like you um i don't know you procrastinate 
the action. Why? Don't do that. Don't do that. Go and take the action. Close the social media. Um, stop feeling like you like comparing yourself to others and go and do the thing and advertise your thing all the damn time because people want to see you succeed because the world needs you to succeed because the universe wants you to become rich and successful this is the card of success this is the card that lets me know that success is so damn easy for you if you just take the initiative if you make the first move towards it oh my god why why are you here why why aren't you out there chasing your goal oh my god i feel like uh we have our card already and we have the five of wands guys i already said that you need to stop comparing yourself uh the five of wands is literally the card that uh, is one message and one message only and that is competition and comparing yourself to others and trying to make things happen uh uh, because of competition and you're not focusing your energy on yourself and building something good for yourself you only make moves only when it uh when other people um how do i say this um when other people are making the initiative you make the initiative as well but this is not how it works you need to make the initiative for you and not because some other person made it and you need to start comparing yourself to them this is the card of feeling competitive and feeling like you need to compare yourself you need to compare your actions you feel like you need to compare your money to other people um more words energy more fighting feisty you know uh energy um i feel like you are someone who thrives off of competition but the thing is uh comparison is like the killer of dreams the killer of love the killer of everything um you need to focus on yourself you need to focus on doing the best that you can uh it doesn't matter if someone else has already made the goal it doesn't matter if um i don't know maybe someone from your past has already made it and you feel like uh it was not it is not going to happen for you because it happened to them um wake up wake up uh because i feel like you've been sleeping off your skills you've been sleeping off your goals and your manifestation because you procrastinate making it because you are comparing yourself to someone else who doesn't even matter in the end of the day only the only thing that matters is you getting where you want to go it is the only damn thing that matters and i feel like if you stop comparing yourself to others, especially to people who have already made it, maybe younger people than you who've made it, maybe people who have made it because they were nebo babies or something, and start be, not wasting your time doing that. Instead, investing your time in yourself to act and actually focus on the goal that you want to achieve and invest maybe a little bit of money towards this goal it is going to help you and get you where you want to go so much faster this is how it is done this is just how it is done you are stop comparing yourself to others and you just go ahead and do the thing i would never have a youtube channel if i should if i would just stand the, here and comparing myself to other youtubers who also do tarot readings and they have been doing it for a long while before me right but this is what I wanted to do. This is what I am good at. I can read tarot cards. I can read art. It is so easy for me. And people need to hear what I have to say. It is a good thing to take space. Even if the thing that you want to do is an oversaturated um, thing. It could be, I, I don't know. Maybe you want to become a writer, for example, okay? Maybe you want to become an athlete. It is indicated with the wants energy. Maybe you want to be a dancer, um, more active uh, kind of things. But it could be about something that you've been dreaming about for a long while, right? 
but you keep comparing yourself to others you keep comparing like uh, how flexible other people are compared to you well other people are practicing every day they're not just sitting here complaining and watching videos to see where the money is and where can i find money money will come to you the moment you decide uh, about what it is that you want to do as simple as that a new beginning is on the verge for of happening for you the moment you stop comparing yourself to others let's get more cards because i feel like i've been rambling for so long oh one dropped right outside the monitor let me oh let me get it we have the five of coins yeah you are just sitting here we have two fives the number five is about being in the middle of the road not feeling like you are shooting your shot feeling like comparison is all that exists feeling like you um like your friends and your family are judging you for wanting a specific thing but the thing is that it doesn't matter what people think it doesn't matter you just need to invest this time worrying about what other people think about you and invest this time instead in yourself imagine if i wanted to become a youtuber but i never uploaded anything ever how can i call myself a youtuber if i am not posting videos if i don't have a schedule if i don't speak to the camera how am i supposed to make this goal happen if i am not here doing it you know where i'm going with this the five of coins also makes me think that you feel like you are wasting your money on things instead of investing it in things that you like for example um uh i am somebody who was always searching for free books like online you know in um in google in pdf form because i felt like uh giving my money to actual books was uh like wasting it but i shifted my mindset because it is not the right thinking because how else am i going to be able to buy books if i don't spend some money getting them in the first place i love reading i love studying i am someone who like lives and thrives from getting information i am someone who has great sense of information i mean maybe it is a, a libra thing an air zodiac sign kind of thing but i really like information i really like um having inspiration from information i am getting um and this is why i thrive reading cards because i receive information and i interpret it uh compared li like reading the cards this is the way i uh process information and this is how and this is why i do tarot readings because it helps me and i can help people through it the thing is invest see things that you buy as investment you think that i feel like your mindset around money is kind of ill and you need to take some time off you need to stop comparing yourself to other you need to stop feeling like you're wasting money on things and instead starting start thinking that the money that you spend is an investment for example uh if the only thing that you do is work and uh, an end five job and return home and just spend money on the bills this is not it you're not spending money you just make a trade here you work to make money in order to have electricity for your home in order to cook for yourself in order to see things in your house especially now that it is uh getting dark sooner um it is an investment start seeing things as an investment change this mindset think of everything as an investment towards yourself this is what i am trying to say over and over with this reading see things as investment the books that you buy is an investment in your entertainment in bettering your uh inner self uh bettering your education also uh of course it depends as to what you choose to read also but start seeing things as good things um 
I don't know, if you buy a nice necklace for yourself, if you buy a nice bracelet, a nice ring, see it as an investment towards yourself as to having something pretty to look at and feeling more pretty, feeling more beautiful, feeling more handsome. Uh, you see where I'm getting with this? Start seeing things as an investment. Stop seeing things as something you spend money on. I feel like something that you could do in order to change this mindset is by doing a vision board. Start visualizing what your life, uh, the life that you want to have in your life. And I feel like it will help you a lot uh, when it comes to like specifying what the goal is and what you want to do with your life and what it is the initiative that you need to make. For example, if you are somebody who uh, wants to do the same thing as uh, like um, your favorite celebrity, for example, or your favorite YouTuber, um, you can print out a photo of this person that uh, because it, they give you inspiration and start acting as though you are their friend start talking to them i have done this <laughs> for a long while um but anyway the thing is here that you need inspiration the ace of wands in the middle of the reading is the card of inspiration it is the card that lets me know that you need to find and search within yourself what gives you drive and motivation to do things and start making little steps at a time because the universe wants to push you the universe wants to give you this little push in order to go after this goal go after your dreams the universe is not here to um doesn't want you to suffer stop believing that the universe is here to only give you troubles and only give you suffering are you crazy are you crazy? Are you nuts? The universe wants to provide for you. The universe is abundant. The universe can provide you with anything that you want. Start using your imagination. Start using your brain. Start using your brain cells. Make them work. Um, because you need to see things a little bit more clearer. I feel like you have lost track of things because you kept comparing yourself and you uh, be, start believing the fact that there are there is nothing that you can do with your money. You cannot invest in anything. But the thing is, everything that we buy is an investment. Everything that we spend we spend our money on is an investment. Even if it is for entertainment purposes, like as again uh, buying a book uh, that it is not like uh, an educational book, buying things is an investment even for entertainment you should be entertained you should be investing in your entertainment you should be investing in yourself if it is something that makes you feel good about yourself as simple as that let's get more cards uh, about the future let's see what is in the cards for you let's see how rich you're going to become Let's see how wealth and abundance is going to come for you. And it is coming. Oh my God, you are so lucky. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. You have the seven of coins. The seven of coins is the card um, that tells me that you're going to receive the fruits of your labor. Keyword, labor. So you need to work. You need to make the thing happen. You need to make this creative idea into a business. You need to make a creative idea into a YouTube video. You need to make the idea into content in order for it to be sold, in order for it to provide um, information for someone, in order for it to generate wealth for you, generate money and bring this wealth back to you. The seven of coins lets me know that you are someone who can work hard, someone who can put the effort, someone who puts thought behind things and you are someone who can make things happen. You can make anything happen. It is not just an idea. You make it happen. This uh, seven of pentacles energy is you manifesting a thought and be making it 
into a material thing. The pentacles correspond to material things and it corresponds to money as well. So not only you are creating wealth, you are creating abundance in your life, you are also someone who can generate wealth by um, just putting time and effort towards things. Um, for some reason, I'm getting the sense that maybe you want to become some kind of consultant. I'm not sure what the word is. Um, you know, like a therapist or um, helper of some sort. Like, I don't know, something that has to do with one on one, um, uh, you know, councils. I'm not really sure what... Uh, you know, but you know, it's it's like uh, someone has a problem and you're here to listen and they pay for you for that service. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm not really sure if I said the correct words. I'm sorry about that. Uh, English is not my first language. But anyway, the thing is that I feel like you're so good at listening um, and you are so good at helping other people with advice and you can generate so much money from it if you make some kind of product out of it if you make some kind of business maybe you are like a yoga instructor for example and you want to start making more money you can make video calls you can make uh one on one uh like dates and be a personal trainer for example in your free time you see where i'm going with this you can generate so much more money with a little bit more effort believe me you are going to receive the fruits of your labor there is so much money for you out there why are you not going after it we have the card strength I mean, I just said something about a uh, yoga teacher and uh, like dancing and stuff with a strength card. I feel like this is very prominent um, as a piece of advice, especially if you are someone who wants to invest time uh, on themselves, on their body, wanting to learn something new. The strength card is so good. It lets me know that you are someone who has such huge power within themselves you are so much more powerful than you believe you are you can get things done just because you are just so good at making stuff happen the strength card lets me know that you are patient that you use your gifts in order to help people out there and i feel like with the strength card it is just uh, a matter of being patient and getting things done and this is what will going is going to make you rich this is what is going to make you and generate you more money and more wealth being patient but not just wait around being patient with your own self being patient with your own goals some things take time to be done it will take some time for me to receive my 100,000 subscribers that I always dream about. But if I'm not making content, this will not happen for me. I mean, it can if I use the law of assumption and I believe in it. Um, but, you know, we all have limiting beliefs and this is what we are trying to work on throughout our whole lives. And some people will never even get to that place to have like self-awareness and uh, believe enough in themselves and make stuff happen for them the thing is though you can make anything happen you are strong enough you are patient you have uh, endurance you know when to apply pressure and when to release it with a strength heart this is very prominent here and literally you are like the epitome of strength and you can achieve your goals and i feel like that is all the messages i have for you today thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below if this message resonated to you let me know if you have questions if you have ideas for future videos follow me on my social media i have a tiktok and an instagram account of course subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you know when i post a new video i post every wednesdays and saturdays and yeah that is all from me thank you again for watching and listening to me i love you and let's move on to part number three Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number three with this specific coin. Let's see where the money is for you. 
we have the nine of cups beautiful energy i love the nine of cups the nine of cups is such a good card uh even though it doesn't really show me like um abundance in like the material things like in the pocket it shows me that you are the kind of person that believes in like emotions and kindness and like genuine energy from yourself and other people this is a beautiful card the cups correspond to the water element and the water element is all about our emotions how we understand our emotions our feelings all the matters of the heart and of course how we choose to share our feelings and our emotions so all in all with uh, the cups energy we have someone who is very dreamy uh you are someone who is very artistic as well i feel like you create art and uh this skill this artistic skill is something that will generate so much wealth for you if you making small steps towards uh this goal if you have a goal at all you don't have to have a goal uh because i feel like your genuine energy is just so magnetic and people just love you for that and people just want to uh give you money and give you effort give you time and energy and they invest in your art i feel like you out of all the piles you are someone who um does not really need to work that hard to make things happen uh, i feel like you're someone who believes just believes in themselves i feel like um not many people are able to do that um i really can just dream about being a person who is just that magnetic and people just come to me because they really really like my energy this is just what i want always wanted um but literally sometimes growing up and having all the uh wrong eyes on you sometimes it just gets hard to just be yourself right but the thing is with you you don't have such problems i feel like your energy is so genuine your kindness is like your best feature i feel like you are always someone who provide who can provide other people with attention and i really feel like you're so magnetic your energy is just that magnetic the number nine is about feeling completed feeling satisfied with yourself feeling satisfied with your efforts i feel like uh maybe you do have big dreams about yourself the reason you're watching this video is because you want to achieve wealth and abundance right uh but the thing is you are fine with um even with small things even with small goals and i feel like this is so genuine of you i feel like uh most of the times people are just go 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 until we get the one million subscribers for example uh, but the thing is, with your genuine energy, you creating things just because you want to create them, this is what makes you magnetic. This is what is going to generate wealth for you. See how this figure is surrounded by the golden uh, cups. So this figure here is rich, rich, right? You are not afraid. You are absolutely sure that wealth is going to come to you. I envy you to be uh, to be honest because this is just such a good mindset, such a good energy. Let's get more cards. Maybe get some more past kind of energy before I move on to the predictions part. The cards are kind of big and it takes me a little bit more time to shuffle them. We have the six of wands. which is so great and so nice the six of wands let me know that you are someone who has drive and motivation you are someone who is not afraid to um again take the initiative and make the first move uh the six of wands is the card that lets me know that you uh feel victorious already you feel like you have already won the game of life you feel like you have already won uh so much you are someone who can process things as victories no matter if they are big or small you are someone who just believes in themselves they once correspond to the fire element the fire element is all about drive and motivation and passion what gives you drive and motivation to do things things that you are passionate about the number six is the number of the lovers in the major arcana cards so 
I feel like you have all the right people around you and even if uh, sometimes uh, not the right eyes are on you, it is still okay because you know that you're worth so much. I feel like you are confident, you are very... Um, I don't know, you're just the kind of person who feels like you are at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. And I don't know, I feel like there is this huge power inside of you. Uh, maybe you are a witch, you have an interest in the occult, maybe this is why you're watching this video also. For some reason, I'm getting the fact that the number three is important to you because we have a six and nine. It is... Um, I'm not really sure what the word is, uh, but you know, it it goes three, six, nine. So this is what I'm trying to say. This is why I'm getting the sense of the fact that maybe you are a witch or you are a very good manifestor. You don't have to be a witch. We are manifesting all the time, everyone. This is just how the universe works. Uh, but anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that you focus on a goal as though you already have it and this is literally your power this is your skill you are so skillful at that and believing that you already have something believe me, you have already won i feel like you are also someone who uh is also very grateful for the things that they have uh the nine of cups lets me know that you uh, a good manifestation method for you in order to get what you want and achieve the goals that you want to achieve is by using uh, the, the gratitude method, feeling grateful for what you already have and feeling as though feeling grateful as though you already have the things that you want to manifest. For example, uh, you want to manifest a thousand dollars, you want to manifest a thousand euros, whatever coin, whatever currency in the country you are. Um, but you just received 10 bucks. You don't feel as though you don't deserve the thousand bucks. But you are grateful for the 10 bucks that came to you. And that is a power move. And that is going to generate more wealth and more abundance in your life. If you want to manifest a specific someone, you feel as though you already have this specific someone. And the universe is going to bring you more of that energy, more for you to be grateful for. You see where I'm going with this? I feel like gratitude and feeling as though you already have something is just manifesting itself in your life with more things to be grateful for. So keep on doing that. I feel like this is literally your power. I don't know how you do it. Please teach us. Let me know down in the comments how you do it. <laughs> and... Uh, I really believe that you are such a powerful mind here. Yeah, you used to be different. You used to be so vastly different. We have the hanged man, which is a card I never get, but this video is all over the place with this card. We got this card in pile number one, two, I think, and we got it in the specific place as well. Um, the hanged man is a card that lets me know that you feel as though you are the victim of your own situation. Um, the hanged man is also the card that lets me know that it, everyone fell like on you, on top of you, and it felt like you cannot get out. It feels like as though you are trapped. It feels like nothing is working out for you. Uh, literally, you feel trapped in your own situation. There is this victim mentality also. Uh, it feels like you are the victim of your own situation. It feels like you are working so hard for other people and other people don't do shit for you. Uh, you get nothing back. But the thing is, the hanged man is not a bad card. The hanged man is just a reminder that we need to change the perspective. When an experiment does not work out, it is not because things are wrong. It just means that you need to try again with another recipe, with another experiment, with different ingredients and maybe different places, different temperatures. You see where I'm going with this? You just need to experiment a little bit more. You just need some change of perspective and you're already doing it. This does not even matter anymore. Maybe you are in this place and you're watching this video, you see this success that is going to happen to you. And this is the mindset shift that is happening for you by watching this video. But I feel as though you already feel successful. You already feel that there is something more out there for you. And believe me, there is. 
there's no other way that it, this can happen for you let's get more cards to see uh more predictions more outcomes we have our card and it is the knight of wands yes i love the knight of wands especially when it comes to money readings and putting effort time and energy towards something the knight of wands lets me know that you are so passionate about a specific goal you're so passionate on making it happen you're so passionate no matter what it takes the knights correspond to the message of movement of getting out there making things happen for you and i feel like you are so good at just taking the first step and just doing it as simple as that you're just doing it because it feels good the ones again correspond to the fire element it is about drive and motivation i feel like maybe this video is what you just needed to hear in order to find drive and motivation to do things it is so nice to see that you i feel like you are ready you are already there you are already ready to make the first step wealth and abundance is happening for you right now the knight of wands also lets me know that there is uh some kind of energy from the past that is resurfacing again in your life and this is what is going to bring you more abundance i feel like there is an idea that you had in the past about a specific something and you just need to uh like take it from the depths of the depths of your brain and resurface it i feel like there is something there is an idea from the past or maybe like something you always wanted to do maybe when you were a teenager or a child but you know life got in the way and especially when we uh surround ourselves with uh low energy people or like people with no dreams and goals you know uh people who do not have self-awareness all in all um we just lower ourselves to their standards and we literally trap ourselves but the thing is there is always this one want this or one need that we had since we were children or we since we were uh, teenagers or there is something that just spoke to you not a while back and you just want to make it happen for example um i don't know maybe you used to uh, go to, to dance classes uh, when you were a child and life got in the way and you don't know what to do with that maybe you think that you are too old to pursue this uh, hobby uh, or you're too old to become a dancer anymore but the thing is um, you become a dancer the more you practice you become a dancer the more effort you put towards dancing and i feel like this dream whatever dream it may be maybe you want to become a writer i don't know you you are someone who can generate wealth from an idea that you always wanted from the past maybe again you want to become a writer for example um but you have tried numerous times to write down something but it is not the right thing and you always um ended up leaving it uh, unfinished it is because you it is not the right thing for you to write but believe me you will find the one thing that you want to write because it will call to you it will call to you like a siren in the sea and you want to just drown yourself in it drown yourself in this desire and before you drown yourself in this desire make the effort to listen to your heart and see what it truly says and not try to make something happen out of like spike or, or out of like a traumatic place in your heart you see where i'm going with this i feel like the true goal here for you is manifest a dream a long overdue dream here right let's get one more card and see the predictions where is the money for you how much wealth are you going to attain going for this goal make the goal happen for you we have our card and it is oh oh my god the three of wands more wands energy you are so passionate what is it with you guys just go out there 
just go out there stop wasting your time stop wasting your time scrolling on social media stop wasting your time on comparing yourself to others stop wasting your time thinking that you are a victim of your own situation stop wasting your time and your effort on people who do not even uh who are not even thankful that you put effort towards them start focusing on your goal see how this figure is out there see how this figure tries and moves on with their life and going the distance this card is one message and one message only going the distance making things happen one step at a time you are not going to go uh how do i say this you cannot just travel to another country without paying for the ticket and even if you pay for the ticket you still have to go to the airport and go inside the airplane and go to that country see where i'm going with this one step at a time is so much more than like wishy-washy things one step at a time is more than enough to get you where you want to go one step at a time is so much more than staying at the same place it means so much more for the universe that you took like the universe knows how brave you are and the universe wouldn't provide you with all the things you have in your life if you were not brave enough to do the thing um literally you are so ready to make things happen but also remember that you are someone who can manifest anything that you want you are someone who is already in the wish fulfilled stage you are someone who already believes in themselves that you are ready you are already successful you already have all the money that you want and using this law of assumption using this gratitude method is going to manifest itself in you having energy and having all the drive and motivation to go after your goals and this thing these two cards over here literally is the manifestation on you of you moving forward with your goal and making it happen especially with the three of wands you're making it happen this knight of wands is just this drive this uh going the distance energy and no matter if you have a horse like this knight of wands or if you do not have a horse you are still moving yourself towards the goal that you want to manifest you are already there you are already making things happen because in your brain you already have the desired amount of money that you want you already have the goal that you have set for yourself you, you see yourself so clearly having everything that you want i feel like you are a powerful visualizer what is the word you have this power of visualization i feel like you are someone who can just visualize themselves in whatever situation you want to see yourself in you already feel the happiness that you would feel if you just did the thing and like teach me write me down in the comments how you do it i mean um i don't know just maybe the goal here is that you can teach someone to do something um but the thing is that you don't maybe have enough clients in order to do things as a normal job for you it is all about advertising yourself putting yourself out there don't be afraid to put yourself out there half the work of all businesses is putting yourself out there and i feel like that is all the advice i can give you that is all the messages i can give you today thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below if this message resonates to you let me know if you have questions if you have ideas for future videos follow me on my social media i have a tiktok and an instagram account uh, of course subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you know when it is that i post a new video i post every wednesday and saturday thank you to everyone who kept this video playing because you wanted someone to keep you company thank you so much i really really love you guys i can't wait to see our community grow i really believe that you are the most kind the most beautiful people i could ever ask for to have a subscribers you are literally the best i love you guys and yeah that is all for me i'll see you in my next video bye